Hey YouTube, it's Patrick and I have a really exciting video for you today and that's because this could be the next biggest thing since Bitcoin. And what, what is it that I'm talking about? It's called storage. And what storage is, is it's basically a cloud storage system that's going to compete with uh, Google Cloud, Amazon Cloud, and also Dropbox. Now, where this differs from, or why I think this could be the bigger than Bitcoin, is because the current uh, market capitalization for cloud storage is $150 billion, whereas in the um, total market cap for Bitcoin is only $8 billion. You can, so you can see, you know, this, this company storage doesn't really have to have a lot of the market to, to gain um, more market capitalization than Bitcoin. Um, and it has a lot easier road to go. Um, it doesn't have to deal with regularization because it's not, from what I know, it's, it does have an alt currency, it does trade um, on, on all currencies, but it's not really trying to be a currency. It's trying to be just an application to um, store uh, data for, or they're going to, this is the really exciting news, is they're going to pay for your, your unused hard drive space. Um, although that won't happen right at the beginning, and which you can't blame them, because they have to sell storage space, space before they can start buying storage space. So, you know, they're going to go into the selling first and then, you know, as they, they use up whatever they have, they're going to go ahead, you know, and I guess if you were part of the crowdfunding, you could be part of the first wave of people who gets paid for their um, hard drive space. So they don't have to deal with regulation. They don't really have to deal with public opinion, you know, like it, Bitcoin, you know, there's a lot of people at the beginning who are so just against it just because it's not what they're used to. Cloud storage has been around for a while and it's pretty publicly accepted. You know, people like cloud storage. They like to be able to free up their computer for other things and to be able, be able to have that extra storage. So, you know, they don't have to win over the public opinion. Also, you know, it's pretty easy to use from what um, the, you know, developers were talking about. It's pretty much just drag and drop your, your files onto their cloud. Um, you know, once again, the exciting part is, you know, where you can actually get paid. And um, I know a lot of people like Bitcoin mining, the idea of Bitcoin mining. Well, this is going to be great because this is going to pay you more than uh, ASIC miners will um, hook it up to your computer, um, just running out your empty hard drive space. You know, if you're not using it, it's just pretty much wasting it. And how it's going to be, well, they, they're claiming it's going to be, you know, one of the largest, which could be definitely true if it, um, goes in track with Bitcoin because, you know, the Bitcoin network is like, if you combine it all, it'll be the world's biggest computer. So I don't see why it would be any different if you started throwing everybody's empty hard, you know, like hard drive space. You can create the world biggest cloud storage or the world biggest hard drive or whatever. Um, so it's going to be, you know, cheaper, one of the cheapest um, methods of cloud buy, buying storage space because they don't have to put out the overhead that um, Amazon and Dropbox, like employees, you know, rent for any of the, you know, sites that they have. So that's, that's the beneficial, well, it's going to be cheaper for people to buy and then, you know, you're going to be able to make money off of it as well. And then it's going to be more secure because you're the only one that has access to this file. You know, you basically, you send it into the network, it tears it apart, it sends it out to all the people, you know, different hard drives. You're going to be, you know, peer to peer. You're going to be st storing, you know, information on a lot of different computers. That way, you know, not one person has that file. It's broken down. And then when you need it, you retrieve it, it comes back up, um, you know, through the blockchain or something like that. I'm not too sure on the technology behind it, although it's a very, very exciting idea. So, you know, if you have, um, I highly recommend, although, you know, don't take investing advice from me. If you don't have any money to throw away, don't invest it into Bitcoin or all currencies. But with all that being said, you know, if you do trade in all currencies and you don't have this on your radar, I would say at least take a look at it because, like I said, it, compared to the market capitalizations and what a great idea it is. It's really bringing, you know, the peer-to-peer uh, -peer or the decentralization, um, you know, another step further. You know, we, I talked about decentralized uh, currencies, obviously. I talked about decentralized exchange, uh, decentralized lending, and now we have decentralized cloud storage systems. So it's really, really um, exciting. It's less risky than the other ones, you know, I just, peer-to-peer -peer lending is, is, is pretty risky right now um, with, you know, BTC Jam, I've already got warnings against that site. So, you know, it, it, Bitcoin is still volatile right now, so that's even a risky inv investment. But, um, you know, cloud storage, you know, people need it. People need more computer space, and why not use everybody's empty um, hard drives or unused hard drives that they're, that they're not currently using? So, and then plus those people can get paid for it. 
So it really brings the power out of a few, you know, like Amazon and Google and um, Dropbox, and it brings the power. The people now, people that are going to get, make the money off of cloud storage, are going to be average people who are donating their extra space. So um, I'm really excited about storage. I, I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys learned something. And um, that's all I have for you right now. So I'll see you on YouTube.